Meu peru, meu peru. Hi guys and welcome back to Dangerous Waters. Um, again I'm going to play the Red Storm Rising campaign and with the Reinforce Alert mod installed. I'm a bit frustrated because as you can see here I already played the second mission and I thought I recorded it but something went wrong and it didn't record so I'm going to do this a second time <laughs> uh, yeah at least I know I now know what I'm going to expect and our mission is summarized uh, we're going east and we're going to meet with a convoy we have to escort a group of freighters and cargo ships and but on our way on our way uh, we stumbled upon a russian diesel submarine and yeah the nato standard or I guess it's um, that we are to uh, make an exercise and try to defeat the Russian submarine commander. Uh, yeah. So our mission is we have to close our ship to within three miles of the submarine and stay within three miles of the sub until it surfaces and it's going to try violent maneuvers and or high speed dashes yeah let's do it I found in the settings that you can enable shadows so I did this this time and in my opinion it looks really nice I wasn't aware of this setting um, first thing when I start with the FFG is a, a small um, ritual you could say which I do every time when I start a mission one thing is here lesson learned from last mission right away set the uh, alert status of the helo to 15 uh, and, and in this mission I'm not planning to be uh, stealthy so I'm going to enable the radar um, yeah then I'm going to stream the Toad Ray, which is already streamed, but in for my taste it's streamed too far out, so retrieve I'm going to retrieve Ray. it a bit. <coughs> I really like the shadows. Oh, 
also let's enable the link so we can receive radio messages I think the radio data uh, the link data is already on Stream the photo ray. Aye, sir. it's much faster with the reinforced alert to uh, retrieve the trout ray and also stream it I guess But in the submarine, it's quite the opposite. In my, it's my feeling that there it takes forever. Here it goes quite fast. I want to stream it about uh, 1,500 yards. That's a good value, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, there is a new sensor and it's here sensors PD mass search. I think this wasn't in the stock version and what this is um, It's a periscope depth mass search and it's supposed to detect when there is a submarine on periscope depth and the periscope or any other mast uh, sticks or looks out of the water uh, yeah it's a special hardware the technology is called LADAR or LIDAR it, it means the same uh, I think it's called light detection and ranging it's a kind of laser technology where you uh, detect these kinds of stuff. In reality actually it's able to even detect objects uh, beneath the surface. But to be honest in this game I've never been able to detect anything. Maybe that's because uh, the AI doesn't actually use a periscope. I have to try this in a multiplayer session. Okay, let's check uh, the sonar. There is a very distant contact here. I'm going to mark it. TAO, sonar soup, new passive track, one, zero, zero. General quarters, general quarters, all hands, man your battle stations. <laughs> yeah, they added a few nice sounds here in uh, the Red Storm Rising campaign. And actually, for the uh, reinforced alert mod, they use the same sound effect each time when you engage a target. I can't uh, demonstrate that. Let's engage this. General quarters, general quarters, all hands, man your battle stations. General quarters, general quarters, all each hands, time. man your battle stations. It's kind of cool. But uh, when there is a lot going on, like incoming missiles, then yeah, it's getting annoying. But anyway, I'm going to classify this as a submarine. And yeah, the, um, for those of you who don't know how the toad ray works, uh, the toad array always shows uh, fake contact as well as the uh, yeah the right contact, and you have to figure out which one is fake and which one is uh, the right one. And you can do this by changing your course. As you can see, the fake contact is always 
symmetrical to my uh, to where I'm heading so right now I'm heading this way and the contacts are symmetrical to this line and once you change the course your the line where you're heading changes of course and assuming um, this contact here 1003 is the correct contact the fake contact would uh, move more south to be symmetrical again so that's the way how you can figure this out and I'm going to change course yeah I'm Come going right to head course. east zero nine zero aye sir and what I like to do is to mark these the original position and I'm going to try something new now because the first time when I recorded this I set a tracker on this contact a tracker means uh, when I click this assign ATF and the tracker constantly updates the, uh, the contact or the uh, markers here and I had a bit of hard time to uh, find the position of this guy because I didn't want to use active sonar and since I have no uh, helo in the air and I was heading straight towards him it was hard to find his exact position yeah, I'm going to try something new now. I'm going to mark the position where I detected him or where I marked him. And then I'm going to update this. Once my toad ray has straightened out. <coughs> but I can use this time to classify him uh, unfortunately right now I only have one frequency frequency is actually 50 Hertz that indicates that it's probably a Russian sub uh, but yeah, it's not enough to classify anything right now and since they overlap now I would assume they are in the same beam or they were that the and I'm heading south or yeah I'm making a southerly turn <laughs> I would assume that uh, the 1003 is the uh, the correct contact and this up here is a fake but uh, we'll see <coughs> actually now chosen one. yeah it's funny because the first time when I played this uh, submarine was right in front of me and now it's at an angle yeah of about 40 So that means that the position of the sub is random, which is kind of cool. So you can replay this mission and 
it's not uh, the same each time. Did my toad straighten up? Yep. As you can see here, my turn. And when you do a turn, the yeah, the data lines here they tend to move around. And once the toad is straightened, you can also see it here. My course right now is exactly 90. And the array heading is 91, so it's pretty much aligned with my ship. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to mark him again. And now we can see that this is actually the fake contact and the correct one is up here. Yeah. Because it used to be here on this marker and it uh, moved down here. So that means this contact here is the right one. Um, yeah, so we can actually no, we can't <laughs> since I don't have him here on the broadband, I cannot resolve uh, the bearing, am bearing ambiguity. But I know he's up here, so yeah. I could also just eat this. <coughs> yeah, my helo will again take forever to launch. So I have to figure out the way. And I could do this. First, I'm going to add a range circle, three miles. He has to be within this circle here. And uh, that's a bit off here. And I could kind of triangulate his position. When I do another circle here. And the point where these lines intersect is more or less his current position. So I'm going to hate straight up here. Come left to course. Zero, two, one. Aye, sir. And, um, yeah, he's still too far away to actually classify him. I'm going to make turns for 15 make turns knots. For one, five knots. Aye, sir. Because last time he was going quite fast. Actually, we could. Oh, again, we cannot check. Since I don't have him on the broadband. <coughs> we have to get a bit closer. So, this marker here is actually. Yeah, it's kind of where the, the lines would intersect, so this is where I assume him. Let's see how far out he is. Nine and a half nautical miles. Yeah, this is much easier to find 
it's much easier to find this position this way. The disadvantage is um, when I set a tracker on him, I automatically have him on broadband and I can get demon data and yeah, that's an advantage of assigning a tracker, but uh, this time we'll try to do it without the tracker. And I, th I think we can just speed up time here. As soon as uh, a second line here shows up, it should be tag zero five. Then I can uh, get his demon data. He starts, uh, I'm starting to see a second frequency here at 250 and actually we could check uh, the sonar profile. Since they added so many new models they actually provide you with a new frequency sheet and I like to uh, you can see here the index it was sorted by index and I don't really know uh, I didn't see any system behind of this so what I like to do is I like to prioritize and sort by frequency and as you can see I sorted it I priority one um, was frequency one and then frequency two frequency three and four since you usually get the low frequencies first as you already saw in the game so I know he has a frequency of 50 and 250 I think but as you can see there are lot of possibilities <coughs> 33 possibilities um, yeah we could of course uh, filter all Russian uh, platforms because I'm expecting something Russian so, and we can cancel out surface ships. So, we would have a foxtrot here. But until I have one more frequency, I'm not going to classify it as foxtrot just to be sure. Seems like ah, oh, maybe I'm going a bit too fast. Indicate pitch for one, two knots. All Seems right, like my toad data got a bit noisier, but I figure this is because of my increased uh, speed. But I still don't get him on the broadband. Unfortunately, so we can just accelerate time. I also, when I enable the shadows, set all uh, settings to max. 
actually I could show you uh, 3D uh, I set the water quality to be insanely high <laughs> and then I noticed this arrow down here and here you can actually uh, enable shadows and model detail texture I also enabled and high detail no detail textures and I think it kinda looks better now especially because of the shadows <coughs> I'm definitely getting closer oh no now you can see him uh, I think he's cavitating right now that's why I'm hearing him that good uh, second frequency is 250 340 and down here we have even one more 920 340 920 340 900 20 uh, could also be a, a sward whiz but I'm expecting a Russian submarine so it's definitely a foxtrot and I now feel confident to mark him as such uh, classify contact foxtrot Russia I have a high confidence since we are not at war with Russia I'm going to set it to neutral or actually I hear bad things going on with the Russians <laughs> I read it in the mission, so I'm going to leave it unknown. I'm not sure if they are friendly or enemy. Okay, so I think, yeah, now you can see I'm picking him up here on broadband. He actually appeared here, and that means I have demon data on him. And since he's a Russian sub, a diesel. He should have a TPK control at alert status thirty. A TPK of ten. Um, but better be safe than sorry. Yeah, TPK of ten. TPK means turns per knot. It's a value. Uh, yeah, that differs from platform to platform, but uh, you could say for uh, nuclear submarines it's always 7, for diesel submarines it's always 10, and I think with the surface ships it uh, I'm not sure what the factor is there. I know that the Oliver Hazard Perry has a TPK of 8, for example. So, now we can see how fast he is. I'm going to increase the TPK to the value of 10, and we can see he's going with 12 knots. And I'm also going to mark him again. TAO, sonar soup, new passive track, one, zero, zero, four. <coughs> yeah, now the fake contact is there again. Uh, and since I headed straight towards him it's now harder to get his 
position and also it's been quite a while so he probably moved but it shows me that he's in this direction here and I think I'm just going Come left straight post. zero one three. in his position Aye, sir. also my helo should be ready in 20 minutes and then it's easier going with 15 knots now um, I'm not sure if I should go faster wouldn't want to miss him if he's on the same uh, course than me, then I wouldn't reach him when he's going with 15 knots. I'll just wait for my helo. I'm noticing that uh, this is him and this is me and at first when I turned towards him these two lines here were overlapping now uh, it starts to uh, the difference starts to get bigger that means he's uh, not exactly, I'm not heading exactly towards him anymore but it's still not that bad <coughs> but I could Try another triangulation. Uh, TAO Hilo Control at alert status 15. Nice. Uh, mark. Okay. So the last time he was on this line that would mean he is really close but since he uh, he would be at that intersection if he hadn't moved uh, right in front of me but uh, since he has moved I'm assuming that uh, come left the course three five seven that he's further five, out sir. than I can actually see um, when I'm close enough I should be able to see him in the high frequency sonar that's actually a way it's like uh, you can think of it like an underwater camera but it's not a camera it uses uh, high frequency waves and when you when there is an object reflecting these frequency lines or frequency waves um, you can see it here 
but then they have to be really close it's just for uh, short range detection but when he is within these uh, three miles and I should be able to see him I'm going to delete these old trackers here no point of keeping them <coughs> and I'm going to set green deck set green deck in order to be able to launch my hilo Still going with 15 knots. As you can see now, I corrected my course and the lines are now closer together, which means I more or less head towards him. Which is a good sign. At least I'm getting hopefully closer, unless he's heading exactly uh, the opposite way of me and he's three knots faster so yeah. but let's hope that's not the case but uh, actually I could increase my speed to make turns knots. for two Zero knots. Aye, sir. But let's more. Oh no, it's not necessary. TAO, sonar soup. Cavitating. That's also a new feature from the reinforced alert mod. Even when you have the FFG, it notifies you when you're cavitating. Oh, I think I already <laughs> explained that in the first video actually. problem with that is as soon as a sonar supervisor starts talking I'm always getting alerted because I'm he usually only talks uh, yeah when there is a torpedo in the water or the yeah at the beginning it sounds exactly like a torpedo is in the water <laughs> When you play it a lot, you get used to these warnings and... Still not seeing him here. By the way, uh, I increased the volume of my microphone. So, yeah, I thought... It was a bit, the volume was a bit low in the last video, so let me know if you prefer this setting. It's possible that there is uh, yeah, a bit of noise, because again, it's not a high-tech microphone, it's just an internal microphone. And you could really hear when the fan is going is running but uh, yeah I think it's acceptable right now otherwise let me know <coughs> still at the alert status 15 oh I'm an idiot I didn't set it to alert status fee uh, 5 <laughs> I lost him now. I'm 
sorry that was my mobile phone. Uh, yeah, I lost him completely. It's just indicate pitch for, for a one for zero a short box. while. Aye, sir. Uh, TAO sonar soup. No longer cavitating. Thank you. Um, let's see if we still get him at ten knots. Uh, nope. Maybe he's uh, below the layer. Actually, let me check where the layer is. For that, I'm going to launch a BT buoy. I'm not even sure what BT means. But this is to uh, get information about the sound propagation profile. And you can see there where the layer is the layer maybe deployed. I can explain what the layer is um, oh no the fan starts to kick in <laughs> uh, yeah here you can see that the layer is at 494 um, feet and what that means is uh, yeah the the speed I think it's a temperature layer actually and the sound waves travel through here uh, at a different speed I think than um, below the layer and since uh, you can think of this like uh, a mirror somehow when the uh, imagine this would be a light light wave and you have a mirror and when the waves hit the layer then it bounces off and because of that you cannot hear uh, objects that are below the layer because uh, the sound waves bounce off the layer but this effect is lost when you are too close to the object so the layer is actually a good way to hide for a submarine but um, yeah it, it loses the effect when the ship is too close and then the, uh, the sound waves still get through the layer. Another way to still detect it would be to lower my toad ray so far that is below the layer I could try that but for that you have to stream it all the way out I think and go slower man this fan starts to annoy me I'm really sorry for that I hope he'll uh, cool down soon. <coughs> Hilo is still getting ready. Yeah, we can we can try. The away. Hi, sir. We have nothing to lose, right? I'm going. Indicate pitch for zero five knots. Hi, sir. As you can see now, the array depth increases. 
and as soon as it's below the 494 I should hear him again let's increase time here uh, time acceleration TAO Hilo control at alert status 5 Launch the helo, please. Okay, my toad is now below the layer and I start to pick him up, pick him up again. Very faint signal though. But I guess we can mark him. So we know at least. Yeah. I figured he moved west a bit. So I'm just going to change my Come course west. Three, four, nine. I assure. And increase my speed again indicate pitch for one two knots aye sir as I accelerate myself the toad will actually it's still sinking and I lost the contact bridge helo control helo away I'm going to retrieve, retrieve the toad array. Aye, my sir. toad array. And now, since my helo, helo is in the air, I can actually. You have control, Roger. Out. Use him to draw, drop buoys. And. I think he went above the layer now, so I'm going to use a diecast shallow buoy and I'll drop it somewhere up here. Strange how slow it retrieves the toad now. It was much faster below, I think. <sighs> Strange things happen. I think now I could actually set a tracker on him. So um, I know he's bearing all the time. Link data is enabled, so if my helo detects him, I should be able to see him. And I'm going 
going to look for him on this buoy here but there is nothing at all which is strange because it should at least pick up myself uh, yeah I think The water is not as, uh, yeah, it's a calm, calm weather. So when there is bad weather and a lot of noise in the surface layer, then uh, it's a good idea to use a different buoy. But in this case, I was confident that the diecast should do the job <sighs> come right to course three five nine aye sir afraid to set him to a new waypoint but I'm going to do it anyway I can still hear him so he's in uh, he's above the layer or I'm really close but that I think would I would see here on the high frequency sonar so I'm just going to use another buoy uh, yeah let's just use the same one so and the reason why I said I'm afraid is because I noticed a glitch with the helo when you set him to drop a buoy somewhere then everything is fine and when you set him to the second to to drop a second buoy then he starts to do weird stuff but we'll see maybe it's okay this time incoming transmission Flash, 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 flash from Sackland to all Sackland chips. DEFCON 2. This message is to be understood as a war warning. Hostilities between NATO and the Warsaw Pact are now to be considered as likely but not certain. Take all measures consistent with the safety of your command. Hostilities could initiate without RPT, without warning. Not sure what RPT means. Hang on. My helo marked uh, a submarine here and actually he didn't glitch out he still works as expected which is nice I guess anyway um, rules of engagement option Bravo now in effect you may engage other forces if they shoot first or you have credible evidence that they preparing that they are preparing to shoot right now I have no such evidence 
Actually, my my second buoy is picking something up. Or not. Uh, I could, of course, use... Uh, set this to ship so I have more channels available I could ping him with uh, the active sonar of the buoy to scare him a bit after all our mission is to scare him yeah so let's do that Oh, he is really close. TAO, sonar suit, new active track, one, zero, zero, five. Mahilo also classified him as a foxtrot. And the link position is quite reliable. So what I'm going to do is just head Come up right here. Zero, zero, three. With flank speed. Aye, Engine ahead flying. I want to have him within three miles as fast as possible. Mahila will just stay there and uh, do his thing. And uh, I, ex I explained already that, let's slow down now, Indicate pitch for zero, nine knots. Aye, that sir. it's not the first time that I'm playing this mission, and when I remember correctly, the first time Come left, of course. Three, five, four. when Aye, I sir. played this mission, um, the mission was over as soon as he was within the three miles and I think the guys who did the Rainforce Alert mod they changed this because now he actually has to be uh, within the three miles for a period of time and as you can see here I have him on high frequency sonar now. I think this is a, a good method to, as you can see here, it's quite accurate. It over overlaps with uh, the data line from the toad ray. Um, I have a blackout now. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a stealthy method to uh, detect the position without using the active sonar. But again, it just works with a uh, you know close range contacts. So, I think I'm just going to indicate pitch for zero five knots. Aye, decrease sir. my speed even more. Right now, he's going with only okay. He's going with nine knots. Actually. I'm going to 
increase speed Indicate so he doesn't one, get out zero, of my nine, range circle. Sir. Come left the course. Three, four, four. Aye, sir. I really like this shadow. <laughs> I know I'm repeating myself, but uh, yeah. I think you have to delete the old marker. Yep. Before you can set a new one. The high frequency marks are not uh, as the other uh, marks um, as a contact on the map but rather uh, actually a marker, a position marker and I was hoping my fan would uh, yeah, slow down a bit He's still in front of me. Let's mark him again. Here he is. Mark. It actually corresponds exactly now with the link data from the Hilo. How fast is he going now? Three nuts. I'm going to slow down. Indicate pitch for zero five. Nuts. I want him Aye, in front of my ship. I want to be able to see him on the high frequency sonar. Come left the course. Three. Three, one, aye, sir. The increased speed to six knots. <coughs> yeah, I can see him clearly now. When he's close enough, you can even make out his shape. Come left the course. Two, nine, two. Aye, sir. Sixteen knots. Indicate pitch for one, zero knots. Aye, sir. Yeah, my toad is more or less useless right now. But, uh, it's uh, a good way to tell his speed. It's actually over there already. Link data is not as accurate. But he is still going with 16 knots. Come left the course. Two, five, zero. Aye, sir.
He's actually right in front of me now. slowed down a bit, 13 knots. I hope this won't take much longer. Come left the course. Two, four, zero. Aye, sir. Make turns for one, five knots. Aye, sir. Slow down. Indicate pitch for zero five knots. Aye, sir. I'm getting too close, too close now. Come right to course two seven eight. Aye, sir. Come right to course two five six. Aye, sir. You can see him clearly now. He's very close now. Mark. He's right in front of me. Uh, he's diving. And he's going with 16 knots. Let's Come right change our course, course two, and nine, accelerate seven. ourselves. Aye, sir. Make turns for one, five knots. Aye, sir. Wouldn't want to lose him. He's making another turn. Come left the course. Two, seven, six. Aye, sir. Indicate pitch for zero, five knots. Aye, sir. Bridge lookout, new surface contact, bearing. Okay. I've won. <laughs> he surfaced his ship. Bridge lookout, new surface contact, bearing. Zero, zero, zero. Here he is. Hello there. So he gave up and we've won <laughs> and that was that. Uh, the view is glitching. Anyway, we've reached our goal. I think I'm gonna stop here. Took me two hours and thirteen minutes. I remember the first time when I didn't record. It took me two and a half hours. So I think this method was more efficient uh, without adding the track right from the start. 
I was able to get his position more reliably. Anyway, thanks for watching and let me know uh, what you thought, did you like it, if so, of course hit the like button and see you next time, bye bye.